Mexico volcano eruption, locals told to prepare to evacuate as Popocatepetl erupts twice. This is by Sean Martin on Express UK. This volcano is one of Mexico's biggest and has burst into life again and is prompting authorities to issue strong warnings for evacuation. Popocatepetl, it means uh, smoking mountain. It's an active stratovolcano. It's located in the states of Puebla, Morelos, and State of Mexico. In central Mexico, it lies in the eastern half of Trans-American Volcanic Belt. It's 17,802 feet high. It's the second highest peak in all of Mexico after Pico de Orizaba, the Cital Tepetl, which is uh, 18,491 feet. This is linked to the Is Tachihuatl volcano to the north by the high saddle known as Paso de Cortes. Popocatepetl, which is known as the Popo volcano, is 43 miles southeast of Mexico City. For where it can be seen regularly, smoking, erupting, depending on atmospheric conditions. Until recently, the volcano was one of all of the three tall peaks in Mexico to contain glaciers. The others being Iztar Cihuatl and the Pico de Orizaba. In the 1990s, a glacier such as Glacier Norte, that's the North Glacier, greatly decreased in size, probably due to the warmer temperatures of the volcano, but largely due to increased volcanic activity. And by the year 2001, Popo Volcano glaciers were gone. Ice remained on the volcano, but no longer displayed the characteristic features of glaciers, such as crevasses. Lava erupted from uh, Popo Volcano and has historically been predominantly andesitic, but it has also erupted large volumes of dacite. Magma produced in the current cycle of activity tends to be a mixture of the two. The also Volcano Discovery has a warning. Papa Volcano News and Eruption Update, July 26. Ash Advisory, Volcanic Ash Advisory Center, Washington, VAAC issued the following report. We have received information suggesting a possible VA emission. We will gather further information and issue a full advisory as soon as possible. Explosive activity continues, they say. Volcanic Ash Advisory Center, Washington, warned about a volcanic ash plume that rose up to the estimated 22,000 feet altitude, or that is, of course, flight level. That's altitude or flight level 220. The volcano, Popocatapetl, or more colloquially, colloquially Popo, is active over the past week, spewing ash into the air several occasions. July 25th, it erupted two times, and it prompted officials to warn the public to get ready for an evacuation. One of the explosions was so powerful it shot debris up 3,300 feet into the air, with the ash dispersed in a southwestern direction. As a result, Mexico's National Center for Disaster Prevention, Sena Pred, said people should steer clear of the volcano as landslides and fragments of flying rock remain in danger. The statement came from government organization detailed the activity around Popo volcano. The statement read in the last 24 hours through the monitoring systems of the Popocatapetl volcano, 163 exhalations were identified, accompanied by water vapor, gas, and light amounts of ash. In addition, the statement says, our two minor, the two minor explosions were recorded yesterday at 1.37 p.m. and 1.46 p.m. 
as well as a moderate explosion yesterday at 7.23 p.m., which reached an approximate height of 3,000 feet with moderate ash content and dispersed in a southwest direction. Sinapred urges people not to approach the volcano, and especially the crater, because of the danger of ballistic fragments. Sinapred said the warning level is at yellow phase 2. That means there is no imminent danger, but it does mean a 12-kilometer safety radius has been imposed. Officials at Sinapred also say they've discovered the formation of a new dome, or lava, to escape from inside El Popo. Senapred said during this flight, thermal images and photographs were obtained that allowed us to identify the presence of a new dome and that the interior in the internal crater maintained its dimensions. Now we said it's, it's 5,426 meters tall, it's, which is some 44 miles, 70 kilometers away from the central capital of Mexico City the second largest volcano in North America, by the way. Experts say that it does not pose a huge threat to locals due to its usually dormant nature. Last year, Popo erupted for the first time since 2000 when ash was propelled a staggering 10,000 feet into the sky. And since then, there have been several eruptions. Now, Popo Volcano is a stratovolcano. It contains steep-walled, wide crater, generally symmetric volcano, modified by sharp-peaked Venturillo on the northwest, a remnant of the earlier volcano. At least three previous major cones were destroyed by gravitational failure during the Pleistocene, producing massive debris avalanches deposited covering broad areas south of the volcano. The modern volcano was constructed to the south of the late Pleistocene to Holocene El Frail Cone, three major Plinian eruptions, the most recent of which took place about 800 AD, have occurred from Popo since the mid-Holocene, accompanied by pyroclastic or P-flows as we know, and voluminous lahars. The lahars are the, the, the lava that uh, melt the glaciers and uh, they swept the basin below the volcano. The lahars is a violent type of mud flow or debris flow composed of a slurry of pyroclastic material, rock debris and water. The material flows down from the volcano typically along the river valley. And the pyroclastic flows, fast moving current of hot gas and volcanic matter that moves away from the volcano about uh, 62 miles an hour on average, but it's capable of reaching speeds of 430 miles an hour. The gases can reach temperatures about 1,000 degrees Celsius. That's amazingly hot. According to the paleomagnetic studies, the volcano is about 730 years old. It's cone shaped with diameter of 16 miles at its base. The peak elevation is 17,880 feet. The crater is elliptical, with an orientation northeast to southwest. The coals of the uh, crater vary from, the walls vary from 600 to 840 meters, or about 2,000 to 2,760 feet in height. Popocatepetl is currently active. After being dormant for about half of last century, the activity increased in 1991, and smoke has been seen constantly emanating from the crater since 1993. The volcano is monitored by the Deep Earth Carbon Degassing Project. Popocatapetl is one of the most active volcanoes in Mexico and it's the most famous, having had more than 15 major eruptions since the arrival of the Spanish in 1519. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial 
subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.